city of Lexington has not had a state champion since 1957. Jack Sutherland is the greatest, you know. He done took a team for three years. He done been a defense at the jailhouse jump. Nobody could figure it out. Everybody tried to say it's, it's this and that. We don't even know what it is. It, uh, a defense where you couldn't be overloaded. It just had its own principles, but they couldn't overload you. Basically what it was, we, we, we pressed and we trapped without rules. All the main rule was they do not get a layup. Hart throws it in to Kelly Young. Kelly Young dribbles up the left side, throws back to Davey in the middle of the court. He's trapped. Middlefield knocks the ball away, takes it to the basket, lays it in. Lafayette leads six to nothing. Christian County calls for timeout. Coach Law Dunbar has seen enough. It made the game fun on the defensive end. You know, Josh was just so uniquely qualified to coach that group of guys. These kids were all smart, basketball smart. And, uh, it just seemed like that nobody ever complained about not getting to play enough or whatever. Nobody didn't have that problem at all. Everybody knew that the prize at the end was we could see it, we could smell it, but we couldn't touch it. The only way we're going to be able to touch it is to own it. The only way we can own it is to win it all. Lots of sit towns in this state, and still to this day, revolve around their high school athletics. I mean, their school is their identity. And so when you had a team that, you know, arguably was ranked number one, number two, number three in the country, coming to town, it was a heck of a deal. We had to take everybody's best shots. And of course, uh, fanfare was crazy that, that year. I mean, everywhere was packed. Um, I mean, everybody was gunning to get us. We went to Knott County Central and Hazard on a weekend. And it was stunning. I mean, there were people swinging out the chandeliers. I mean, you'd look down the court and there would just be one face after another that you recognize. You know, Joe Hall, um, Lefty Drizel, um, Dean Smith. We had this little blonde guy showed up at school one day and I was down there in my little cage and that kind of wire thing around and he knocked on the thing. He said, it's Coach Sullivan. I said, yeah, young man, what's, what's on your mind? I'm sure you know me, don't you? I have no idea who you are, but I really did. Well, my, hey, my name's Junior Johnson. I said, yeah, well, that's a nice name. I'm Jock Sullivan. How are you, son? It was a great, I think it was a great family atmosphere that, that season. Uh, you had Dirk and Kenny and Junior guys like it. They were all seen as what I call cool. And so I was, you know, I wasn't cool. Matter of fact, uh, I recall it was Dirk or someone called me the L7. And I'm like, what is an L7? And so of course I put my hands together, it's a square. And so I'm, and I'm like, really? The team unity on our team is the main thing, most important thing we have going for us. Everybody on our team loves each other. I don't mean in a fact love, but I mean just brotherly love. I mean, we're close. We, there's no two fakes. We say what we think. And I feel like that's the most important fact of this whole tournament. Kurt has hit, had his strengths as the enforcer and the rebounder, and Tony was the high-flying, you know, put-back king, and Junior could, you know, shoot the ball from the outside, and Kenny coming in doing what he did, which was, you know, run and jump and score, and um, Jeff Parrott and Brian Ely, and whoever was on the floor saw Dirk lead by example. Dirk, you know, the, just a great kid. Just a great kid that he is, and Kentucky folks are gonna learn to love this young man. And Dirk would say, Wilson, you know, Melvin said he's gonna dunk on you. Man, he said your game was soft, man. You can't play basketball. Every game, I, I'd buy into it. I mean, they were professional. They were cold-blooded, and they knew how to win games. Put Brand Ely in, who could have started for most high school teams in Kentucky, and Brand came in with a great attitude like he always does. He was just a super kid, a great competitor, and really accepted his role, and 
he uh, he came in and and played this great. The great secret of our team, there really was no jealousy. Um, we had a goal. We knew we were very talented. And with that talent, we knew that no one, and we competed. We didn't like to lose, and nobody was going to beat us. I do want to give Donnie Harville just a lot of credit for our success. Uh, he works side by side with me, and he makes a lot of real good suggestions on the bench. Some I use, some I don't. He helps me with substitutes, and he's been a very loyal assistant. And, uh, he's going to be a very fine basketball coach. Jock knew he had to ultimately take the attention off of those players and cast it upon himself. And he was able to do that because he was such a strong presence and he was such a strong personality that the media which was different at the time, would, you know, respond to Jock before they necessarily respond to a player. There'll never be another coach like Jock Sutter. I tell this Lexington, Kentucky, I tell this to the state of Kentucky. We had college size on the floor, and we had college speed as well. We were the best team in the state of Kentucky, arguably one of the best that's ever played in Kentucky. It would have been a disappointment had we not won that. I mean, a lot of people, we'd have been disappointed. A lot of people would be disappointed. I'd be disappointed I'd get beat by somebody I shouldn't have lost to. And in a way, I shouldn't have lost or something. And I, maybe I'm in the wrong business. Jock was a very emotional kind of a guy. I mean, he wore his emotions on his sleeve. I can remember, you know, right at the end of the game, uh, he, him turning to Coach Harville and saying, we're going to win this thing. Relief that I've never felt before or since. Uh, that fulfilled my obligation and my promise to my mother. It allowed me to do something else with the rest of my life because all I ever wanted to do was win it. If you really think about it, it's a game that we were supposed to win. And that's from day one. And so the relief, the relief for me was, the thing for me was, we, we did what we were supposed to do. was any doubt at all in my mind, and everybody else's mind. We just had to, like I say, just play our game. We knew we'd be, we would wind up doing what we did today, winning it. It was a special, amazing group of talent. I mean, just to, see that those kinds of guys together just you know once in a lifetime kind of thing. Lafayette is the best high school in the world. It, it was a dream come true and if I had to do any, go back and do anything different I wouldn't do a thing different. As we were walking out of the Rupp Arena manager was carrying the trophy out for me. He was going to take his school we had the thing Monday and uh, there comes Dr. Potts hauling at me. Hey, coach said, boy, uh, man, I don't know how you're going to top that next year. He said, I don't know how you're going to beat that. I said, well, i tell you what, Monday I'm going to apply for your job. 